Colchester Castle is a Norman castle in Colchester, Essex, England, dating from the second half of the 11th century. The keep of the castle is mostly intact and is the largest example of its kind anywhere in Europe. Colchester Castle has 2,500 years of history from the Roman to medieval to what visitors see today. Being built on the foundations of the Roman Temple of Claudius, the castle endured a three-month siege in 1216, but had fallen into disrepair by the 17th century when the curtain walls and some of the keep's upper parts were demolished. Control of Colchester Castle referred to the crown following the death of Udu in 1120 and thereafter the castle was governed by the crown appointed constables or was in the care of the High Sheriff of Essex. Kings Henry I, Henry II and Henry III are all known to have visited this castle. The castle has had various uses since it ceased to be a royal castle. It has been a county prison where in 1645, the self-styled witchfinder general, Matthew Hopkins, interrogated and imprisoned suspected witches. In 1648, during the Second English Civil War, the royalist leaders, Sir Charles Lucas and Sir George Lyle, were executed just to the rear of the castle. Local legend has it that grass will not grow on the spot on which they fell. A small obelisk now marks the point. In 1656, the Quaker James Parnell was martyred there. The castle is now a museum and holds some of the finest items in British history.
This castle contains 2,500 years of some amazing history. This abbey was a magnificent piece of Norman architecture. It was fired upon by cannon fire in the Civil War, 1648. Okay, I mean, what do you guys think of this amazing place? I mean, it's the first piece of engineering in England. You know, I mean, the architecture, the pillars, I mean, you don't see many places like this now. And it's still standing strong to this day. It's a bit of wear and tear. I mean, I just think it survived cannon fire and a civil war. I mean, I do recommend you guys coming to see this amazing structure. I do recommend you guys come to see this amazing abbey. I mean, there's so much history in this town you know, the town of Colchester, you know, and, I mean, look, look at the, look around. An impressive example of early Norman architecture built in flint and reused Roman brick. The church displays massive pillars around round arches and an elaborate west front. 